When you use brushes and patterns in Affinity Photo, you can see a preview and it creates a very interesting display, but you can use it to your advantage. Go to the layer menu and add a new pattern layer. So there's a new pattern layer. Now the default's always way too low, I think. So I'm going to set it to 500 and 500 and click OK. So you can see now you've got your pattern layer. Nothing on it at the moment. However, go over here to the paintbrush tool, select that, go to the brushes panel, and I'm going to select this colorful brush here. Please check out my earlier videos on how to create this gradient design. That's the clue. It's a gradient that's ended up as a paintbrush. Go to the control bar and I'm going to go with about 400 or so for the width. Also set the blend mode to normal initially. And then as you move over, you can see your gradient design repeated. Obviously it's a pattern design. It does occasionally vanish. I'm not certain why. However, what you can do, just click. And there it is, it's been applied. And if I move away, you can see your pattern design. What you can then do is go to blend mode and go for, instead of normal, you can always go for difference. And again, hover over. As you do that, you can see that will change because of course it's now applying it in difference blend mode. And you can see what you're gonna get, the end result. So just click and there's the end result there. However, what you can also do, and sometimes it continues on, you can see you've got the bounding box. If you use the move tool, you can resize it. You can also rotate it. So you can rotate it around like that. And again, go back over here to the paintbrush tool, select that and hover over again with that. And you can see the end result. Now, sometimes you can apply it too far. If you've got a very complex design, it might get very messy. And then simply just click there and you've got your new design. You don't have to use difference. You could maybe use lighten. So as you hover over, you can now see the result of the lighten. Click again, and you've got your new design. But again, you can always resize and rotate this design, this pattern layer. And I'm just gonna just move it there. Again, go to the paintbrush tool and apply again. And you can literally create millions of designs simply by applying it three or four times on this thing, dependent on the blend mode and the pattern layer size. Once you're happy with your design, you may like to keep it as a pattern layer. However, you can always go to layer and down to rasterize, and that will rasterize it into a standard pixel layer, which you can then manipulate, maybe create it as a pattern layer as well. You can also, of course, file and export to save it, or file and save if you wanna save it to Affinity Photos format. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please add some comments below. If you've got any questions about how to use the patterns as well as brushes in Affinity Photo, always great to hear from you. Also, please check out my other videos on the Graphic Extras channel. Also, thank you much.